Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Completionist. Dun dun. New updates. Thank you, Windows. Ruin my glory moment with new updates. Anyway, um, I don't know if I recorded that. I might just be recording the Minecraft window, but <laughs> I, I was like getting all into the intro, and then this thing pops up. Windows has new updates available for you, and it's like, oh boy, thank you. Right now, perfect, wonderful. Um, so anyway, I'm not gonna install this right now. Uh, anyway, um, uh, so let me give you a little bit of backstory, uh, hardcore. Uh, basically, um, <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, James and I, the other person who runs Omicron Crew, uh, were like co-partners and partners in YouTubing, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, we were, we were kind of talking, we were throwing around kind of ideas for stuff to do, and, um, I'm personally not a, um, like, cheap person, so, to, well, yeah, actually I am. Basically, I'm... I'm happy to buy something if I see reason in it. Like, for example, um, I was happy to buy a $400 5970 video card because I can make that money back Bitcoin mining. I was happy to, you know, buy um, Call of Duty because I really love that franchise. But when it comes to, like, you know, hey, uh, this game looks kind of cool, I want to drop 20 bucks on it, it's kind of... Um, I get a little bit uneasy, I guess, spending money on a game I don't really know well. And I have nothing against trying new games, but I love free trials. <laughs> um, I'll admit this now. I ran for three months on a Photoshop free trial before I bought it. And I do have a fully licensed version on this MacBook Pro here, this iMac sitting next to me, another iMac upstairs. But, I mean, for my PC, it was kind of like, eh, it's a lot of money. But with academics, since I am in high school, uh, academic superstore, great discounts for software. Anyway, I'm going to try to get into the game really soon here. But um, this is just kind of some backwards, so, you know, back backwards, yes. This is some backwards. This is some background for kind of what's going on. And I was talking with him, and I, I was kind of trying to lean away from buying a new game unless I was really sure it was going to be cool. Um, you know, I'm teenager, lim kind of limited budget or, you know, whatever. So uh, we were kind of throwing around ideas for what to do, and... Um, we really weren't finding much. We were kind of like, because we kept seeing all these things we could do, but we were saying, nah, that kind of works as single player. And we, we were starting to say, you know, we've tried some single player things before. We did speed challenges. Um, yeah, the Iron Golem was kind of originally planned to be that way, but it didn't really, well, it was like, eh, kind of a toss up there, but that was kind of close. But we've done some single player commentaries before. James with his Kerbal Space Program videos, uh, number four and number five, I think, were both solo, both solo commentary. Uh, the other ones, I think, at least had, I think it was recorded from my computer with him basically instructing me every single step of the way because I was too stupid to land a spaceship myself. And I didn't actually end up landing it, I kept crashing it. I have never once made a successful landing on the moon, just getting that out there. But anyway. Uh, so we were throwing around ideas, and it started to look more and more and more like a single-player series was the way to go. Not permanently, but just as kind of something to have fun with, something to play around with, something to kind of see how it goes, try out new things, you know? And so uh, we were kind of throwing around ideas for single-player, and um, I have a gaming computer. I mean, I've, I'll have i go into my specs maybe later. 8 gigs RAM, Core i5, 2500K, 5970 GPU, plus a 560 Ti, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, um... I was, so I'm able to record just fine, well, in most games, some games have weird glitchiness with fraps and they get all pixelated, but that's not due to my hardware, uh, not pixelated, artifacting, sorry, and that's sometimes related to a GPU, but uh, another story. Uh, I do have some trouble playing kind of lower end games, like games like Star Trek and whatnot, they don't seem to tailor them towards really high end GPUs, so James can play the game just fine and I'm stuck here with loading, crash, loading, crash, loading, crash, no, crash, you know, so it's, it's kind of a, um... It's a two-way street, I guess. But, uh, so I'm able to do recording. He's not really able to do recording, though. He, he's on a little bit lower-end computer on a Toshiba laptop. So, and, and laptops generally, for the same price point, a desktop is going to have a lot better performance than a laptop, but a laptop's going to have amazing portability, so it's just kind of a toss-up for what you're looking at. Uh, so even something like an Alienware, uh, an Alienware gaming laptop, a desktop for the same price is going to have amazing performance over that laptop. Laptop's still going to be pretty good, it can still play StarCraft 2, it can still play Call of Duty, whatever, uh, but bear in mind, you know, they do have onboard graphics or integrated graphics or some kind of non-dedicated graphics card, or even if they do have, a, like, a little dedicated graphics card, so to speak, it's not going to be desktop quality. So anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there nor anywhere, but, uh, so we were kind of talking about, and he's planning on getting a gaming computer fairly soon, I think, but uh, uh, for now, you know, he can't really do a single-player series unless he records it at my house, which might happen, but it's a little bit of, you can't do too good of a regular release cycle. 
So we were kind of starting to throw around ideas for my single-player series, something that I do, and um, the first idea was, well, I came up uh, I'm taking total credit for these lame ideas, guys. Um, the first one was Call of Duty. It was like, you know, just Call of Duty, multiplayer, gameplay, uh, just commentating over it, like C. Anders does. And uh, I tried that, and one, for some reason, fraps when I'm playing Call of Duty, if something happens, like an explosion of a frag grenade, even on this high end of a GPU, for some reason, when recording, it can lock up sometimes, it can get a little bit laggy, and it wasn't just that, but commentating during gameplay really distracts me in something as, as you know, I need to focus on my camping, um, and I'll get to that in just a second, you know, I, I need to really be focused in, call, in a Call of Duty match, you know, I have really good reflexes, Minecraft not so much, uh, so I can talk during Minecraft all I want and maybe just get a little bit distracted, but you know, and I talk a lot, by the way, um, in case you haven't noticed so far in, what, 57, 56 videos, but anyway, that's neither here nor there, or anywhere else. But, uh, so I was kind of moving away from Call of Duty, and, and also, what Cena Anders does is he records the video, then he commentates over it, kind of, and I think that's a cool way to do it, but it's just not my style. I've, I've kind of looked into that, and maybe something for the future, but I like live commentary better, personally, so, I don't know. So, I, Call of Duty didn't work out. My second option was Blur, Blur Racing, and, uh, Alright, oh, back to Call of Duty. Another thing that makes the multiplayer not too good is I camp like crazy. Um, I'll just sit there and camp in the same room on Nuketown in the bedroom for like 10 minutes until I get killed, and then I'll go up to the exact same spot and do it again. James can vouch for that. He was playing Call of Duty with me at my house back on my Xbox before it stopped working. Uh, we were playing Call of Duty, and I would just camp in the same room, and it was like, oh yeah, what now? <laughs> and he kept killing me. But anyway, um, in Modern Warfare 3, I'm even worse at than Black Ops. So anyway... And then uh, another idea that James proposed was doing the Modern, War Modern Warfare 3 campaign, and that might happen eventually, but even that I'm not that good at. So, And then Blur Racing, I'm, one, I'm not that good at it, two, a lot of the races are all the same, and yeah, so anyway, I decided to do Minecraft, and without further ado, after seven minutes of talking, staring at a blank screen that is um, requesting that it create a new world, I'm going to just create a new world. Uh, no seed, I don't think I'm going to work with any kind of seed here, it's just going to be kind of random, because I would do some kind of cool seed, like, you know... Omicron crew completionist or something that kind of makes the world special, but then people will say, oh, you already know what that world has, you've x-rayed that world, and blah, 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 and, you know, I guess technically I could make this world and then do a first episode and then then pull out, like, a uh, one of the, <clears throat> like, level.dat files, I think it is, um, and, you know, and extract the seed from it and make a new world of that seed or duplicate the world and do x-ray and find... No, I'm not going to do that, but I, I understand doing typing in a seed does make it kind of, um, kind of, uh, non-legitimate, I guess you could say. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not going to do a seed. Uh, that would be cool, though. World type, I'm going to do the large biomes, uh, generate structures on. You will notice I'm in Minecraft, um... The second to latest uh, pre-release. I'm in 1.3 pre-release. Um, and basically, uh, I'm not in the most recent one because that looked like it just had some kind of bug fix or something. And I was kind of like, eh, meh, I want to record. So I, I don't have that one installed, but I have the one right before that installed. So it has like all the 1.3 features basically so far uh, that you'll get to see. Also in the intro you just saw, which took a lot longer than it looks. Uh -huh. It really wasn't that great of an intro. Uh, I mean, I was happy with it. I'm going to put it in a video, but... Um, uh, I was expecting it to look a lot cooler for the amount of time I put into that thing. But anyway, that's I, I still like the intro. I'm still cool that um, the music's the best part, and I didn't make the music, so, you know, meh. But uh, anyway, I keep getting sidetracked. I'm just going to create the world, and we're going to start going off. We're, we are playing in hardcore, and completionist is just where I set a bunch of goals. It's a little bit glitchy with cre world creation. All right, there we go. Where I just set a bunch of goals, and I work towards attaining them, like a full set of diamond armor, or you know, all 16 colored wools, or, uh, you know, whatever, just random kind of things, you know, um, Minecraft, you know, roller coaster, just all kinds of things, just basically everything that you can do in Minecraft that's fun we're going to eventually hit during the series, assuming I don't die, it is on hardcore, so, you know, die once you're out, kind of thing. So that also adds another challenge. So, this is going to be focusing a lot on, uh, if you've ever seen Exploration and Tactics, it's going to be kind of similar, it's going to have a lot of kind of elements of, you know, tactics and, you know, being on hardcore, you, you don't say, oh, well, let's see, I don't have much, I need to get back home, I don't know where my house is, I'm just going to jump off a cliff and die and respawn there. No, uh, assuming, you, you know, you slept there. No, this is hardcore. Um, <laughs> you, oop, apple, that's why I did that, I, I wanted the apple up there, because hung, because I don't see any... 
Watch me find an animal right as I said this. I don't see any food around here in the immediate area. Ha! <laughs> I was right. I thought there was going to be some animal that was going to ruin my parade. Um, oh, come on. All right. Well, that's actually good. I should be happy that I have chickens here. Uh, oop. Didn't mean to open that. All right. I'm still getting used to. All right. So I don't know if I've explained this in a video or not. I've recorded several videos where I've explained this. And none of them I'd ever, I've ever put up. One of them was, like, I think the Call of Duty video. One of them was the Blur video. I think I mentioned it in a live stream I did, but that's besides the point. So, at any rate, uh... Oh, also, I wanted to mention, there was a, uh, user. Uh, I'm not gonna mention names. Uh, but it, it's a good thing, not a bad thing. But, um... He, uh, he, um... Just, just for whatever reason. I'll, I'll put a... Eh. Anyway, um, I've been having trouble with comments lately. You know, this is more of a general thing. It doesn't actually apply to him in particular. Uh, I've had been having trouble with comments lately, like adding comments from either my account or one of my spare accounts or whatever. I've been having trouble adding comments and replying to people. So on our latest video, I was able to reply to um, uh, Soldwitch, but I wasn't able to reply to the other user. I'm sorry, I forgot your username. Um, I had it on the tip of my tongue when I was earlier, and now I'm like, wait, what was it? So sorry, but um, I don't remember names very well. Even in real life, I was at a lunch group for three weeks before I found out, like, one of my, a good friend of mine's name, you know? I was just kind of like, oh, that's your name. All right, I kept saying, you know, hey, buddy, or whatever, to kind of... And he, you knew my name, you know, the first day, and it was kind of like, oh, man, I feel so embarrassed. So sorry, I don't know your name. Uh, nothing against you. I just have horrible memory when it comes to names. I have pretty good memory overall. I mean, I... I you know, for like facts and tests and whatnot, I can usually remember things just fine. But when it comes to people's names, sorry, it just, it just it escapes me. So sorry about that. No, nothing personal, but uh, I, I don't remember. Ooh, apple. Oh, oh, oh. all right. Uh, anyway, so so sorry. I don't I don't remember your name, but I had um a very nice comment you left. Thank you. And. Uh, Someone was, and you asked about uh, the live stream channel, and I just do kind of live streaming casually to just kind of try ideas out, bounce them around, play Minecraft just for fun, you know, nothing real serious goes on in live streaming at all, nor does it on the YouTube channel, I suppose. It's all fun and games, but, well, video games, of course it's fun and games, but anyway, that, ooh, I want a shovel. Would you like a shovel? I'll make you one. Um, no. If you, if you want a shovel, I will make you one, though. But you're kind of not in my single player world. So, by the way, if you appeared in my single player world, that would really freak me out. So, yeah. <laughs> With like the listen server type thing? Yeah. Um, so, anyway. But yeah, uh, it, it was just kind of a. Oh, and don't chop trees like I'm about to do on the server, please. Uh, I only do the. Actually, no, I'll chop the tree completely. I'll set a good example. I'm a bad influence. Um. <laughs> Yeah, such a rebel playing video games at, you know, 12 o'clock and then going to bed early because my body insists on waking up at 6.15 in the morning. Nothing against anyone else is completely my fault, but for some reason my body's like, hey, hey you, yeah, hey listen, hey, hey listen, hey, hey listen. Yeah, what? Get up. Why? I don't know. I'm not tired. Alright. So at 6 in the morning, no matter when I went to bed, my body's like, alright, get up, kick, kick, kick. So I, I end up staying up not all that late. Um, so yeah, bad, bad influence staying, waking up at six in the morning. But anyway, um, uh, I got a little sarcasm. But anyway, uh, so, yeah, I forgot what chain of thought I was on, but that's okay because I'm throwing chickens. I hit a chicken with a sword in a video game, your argument is invalid. I, I didn't make that up, I stole it from someone else. I changed the wording a little bit, sure, but <clears throat> anyway. That's besides the point. Um, <clears throat> what I was saying earlier was, uh, with the whole kind of ideas, I was kind of throwing around ideas for what I wanted to do for any kind of, you know, series, for any anything, really. And, um, for a single-player series, I was just kind of, the Call of Duty idea didn't end up working out, the, uh, Blur idea didn't work out, um... I don't have any other games in my Steam library that I think would work out. I have other games, like, I have Mountain Blade, I have games like that, but I'm just... I'm not good at them, and uh, I do have Spore, but I don't really like Spore. Uh, I did a couple of videos on it, it's kind of like, meh. James really likes it, and he, he, I don't think he quite understands why I don't, but I, it's something about it. I don't even understand why I don't like it. Something about it just doesn't appeal to me. I guess it's... I don't know. I don't know what about it I don't like, actually. But, anyway, there's something about it I don't like, so I chose not to do that, and looking at my other games, you know, I had Blur, I had a bunch of Call of Duties, but um, I have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, 
Uh, Black Ops. I'm going to pre-order Black Ops 2. Well, actually, I'll probably just buy it when it comes out. No sense in pre-ordering, huh? And then I have um, uh, uh, World at War. So, you know, but none of those. Maybe I could do some kind of, you know, zombies round. But that wouldn't be like a series so much as it'd just be kind of a fun thing to do. And uh, so, I just settled on Minecraft, as I think I said earlier. And so far, so good. Um... <laughs> So far, I haven't died. That is amazing. And as I say that, my first hostile mob I've seen all game spawns, or was already spawned and came into my view. I creeper, I'm going to get your gunpowder. One of the completionists. Oh, that was some lag. I don't like lag when battling creepers or anything, actually. Um, well, one of our challenges in completionist is going to be to uh, um, to make a hole all the way down to bedrock from the surface, from right around, you know, 63, 64, 60, whatever, somewhere around there, about sea level, all the way down, filled with TNT, and light it off, and then run, of course. Um, and the, the idea being that it's going to make a really cool big crater, and it's also going to take forever to get that much TNT, because for, that'll be, let's see, 60 times 5, 300, about 300 gunpowder that we'll have to be getting, so... Sorry, I'm lagging a little bit. I, I swear this 5970 isn't as good as my 560T now. Which is unfortunate. But, at any rate, uh, moving right along. Hey, dare I, yes. So, we are playing in Minecraft 1.3, uh, as you saw in the intro, which I never finished that thought I had from earlier, I just realized. Uh, like you saw in the intro, you saw some, uh, if, if you played Minecraft 1.3, you know about emerald. You saw some emerald block, you saw an emerald block, emerald ore, uh, the new gravel texture in there. Uh, whatever you saw, basically, I don't have any coal. Sorry, I can't make torches. Dark, 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 dark. Um, it's fine on my screen, because I have this kind of cheap monitor. I went, I went kind of high-end with the hardware for my computer, except for the monitor. I just decided to go, I was like, you know what, screw it, everything else is expensive, monitor, I'm going cheap. And I, so far I've been really happy with this monitor. It's a, I don't know the exact model. I don't keep track of things like that for monitors, they don't really interest me all that much. But, um, it's, <clears throat> it's a pretty good monitor. It was like 120 bucks, it's an Acer. And, uh, I've been pretty happy. I've found that, uh... Yeah, the thing is, though, being a cheap monitor, it doesn't have really, like, rich blacks or anything, so it's washed out, so it actually gives me a really, um, kind of, uh, unpredictable advantage in Minecraft. It's, like, so washed out, uh, when it gets really dark to these deep blacks that I can see perfectly fine. I, I can have no light at all. I can be in a completely boxed-off Minecraft room. Like, you know, like this. Watch, let me show you. Um... Like that, and I can see perfectly. As you can see, there's no light in here. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but I can see perfectly in here. Perfectly fine. I can battle mobs like this. So, you know, it really does, because I have a MacBook Pro, and those things are horrible for gaming. If you want to game at all, don't get a MacBook Pro. I used to be one of the Apple fanboys just like, <clears throat> I want to say eight months ago. Last summer, I was a big Apple fanboy. Then, kind of in October, one of my friends kind of knocked some sense into me and was, I was kind of like, oh yeah, huh, that, that doesn't really make much sense to religiously follow a computer company that, while they make good products, way overcharge and uh, are so limiting with, you know, and they are quite limiting. You wouldn't really think, you don't really realize how limiting they are until you work on like a Linux machine. And all the time I was an Apple fanboy. I, I was, well, not all the time. I mean, I was an Apple fanboy like in second grade, but, um, uh, first grade, even. First grade, I got my first exposure to Macs, I think. Kindergarten, we had some Macs in the classroom, but we never got to use them, so. But first grade was my first exposure, and I just, you know, fell in love, obviously, because I had Kid Picks. Um, if any of you have ever played Kid Picks, by the way, you'll notice I'm getting XP from breaking ores. Yes, I am. Your argument is invalid. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's another cool feature. Uh, XP is a lot easier to get, but the Max enchantment level is 30, so it's kind of a bummer. Uh, I hope they change that in the future. But each XP level is uh, locked in at, I, I want to say 17, don't quote me on that, but 17 XP per level. It's not an exponential scale, it's a linear scale now. So, if uh, I hope that made sense. I might be babbling. But at any rate, babbling or not babbling, it... Ow. Oh, that didn't kill me. All right. Um, uh, I love hardcore. Um, it's constantly the fear of dying and never returning. Even, at, you know, when you start, it's like, you know, it would take me, what, 10 minutes to get back to this point? And, and you're still freaked out. You know, it's just human nature. Dying is a scary, scary thing. Um, 
So anyway, yeah, uh, let us know if you have any ideas for either stuff to do in Minecraft or great games to play that are perfectly cheap. Uh, you know, and, and I don't mind spending money, like I said earlier, on a, on a good game, but I just want to be sure that it is um, a good game, that it is good gameplay, good replay value, and especially if I'm buying it for YouTubing, that it's going to produce good commentary. Because, like, I, I'm a fan of Kurt J. Mack, and I don't watch every episode of his because I find the Farlands are best episodes to get a little bit repetitive. Um, so usually what I'll do is I'll watch, like, one in three episodes, I'll watch the full thing, and most of the episodes I'll watch, like, the first five or six minutes, just to kind of see what's going on, how the child, uh, the Child's Play Charity fundraiser is going, you know. Just kind of check it out, see what, what's going on in Kurt J. Mack's life, and then if it's really interesting, I'll watch the episode. If it's not, then, eh, I'll see. Depends what kind of time I have. And nothing against Kurt J. Mack himself, but just uh, Farlands are best. It gets a little bit repetitive. Um... Just like anything. So, but, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of Kurt Jemak, I guess. And so, I was, um... Where was I going with that? Well, now I feel very smart. Uh... Hmm. Fan of Kurt Jemak. What did he do that I would have been talking about? Huh. Oh, well. Anyway. Uh... So yeah, that's that's not that's nice, Maxwell. You you completely forgot your chain of thought and then proceeded to stall while you tried to remember it and didn't succeed. That sounds totally fun. So sorry about that. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, nope, that wasn't it. I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so uh, please suggest ideas you have for us in Minecraft or any other game. Uh, it, it it does have to be a good game. I would like to uh, play good games. Um, I don't really like playing games and dissing on them. I don't like, you know, playing... I, I kind of like playing horror games and making fun of them, the way they're so you know, fake, and it's like, ooh, blood, and, you know, like like that game House. I don't know if anyone's ever played that. House? House 2? I, I was just laughing, like, almost the whole time with that. James can vouch for that. And, um... Just because it's, it's so fake, and, you know... And they're cool games in and of themselves, but as far as the horror factor, they're fun to play, they're good for, like, you know, the puzzle aspect of them, but as far as horror, it's like, ooh. So if, if anyone wants, someday I'll record one of those videos with, like, a webcam or something. I don't have a webcam connected to this computer, but I could always buy one, or I could record my uh, face with another computer, maybe, like, from the side. I have an iMac here with a iChat camera. It's an old iMac from, like, 2008 or something, but it, it does have a, um, an iChat camera. What am I talking about? A uh, eyesight camera, so you know that would be doable, I suppose. So yeah, uh, I die pretty close to dying actually. So let's kind of hide up here and replenish health. Let's uh, eat some raw chicken. That sounds like a brilliant idea, Maxwell. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, go on without me. Oh, d just kidding. It'll wear off in 23 seconds. So yeah, anyway, um, where was I going with that? I don't, uh, I hate the way I lose these chains of thoughts whenever anything in Minecraft happens. Oh yeah, so any good games, just let us know. I was talking about House and how the horror was kind of fake, and, you know, it, it's not, they're fun games to play, sure, um, but I, I really don't get the whole, ah, ah, it's, it's a bloody mirror, mm -hmm, yeah, Photoshop, might I add. So, you know, but anyway, they're fun. But, uh, yeah, so I might do a webcam, if, if anyone's interested, I might do, like, a webcam, uh, what do you call it, a webcam cam shot, I don't know what they call it these days, um, I don't know what they ever call it, I'm talking like I'm an old person, I don't know what they call it these days, young whippersnappers, um, uh, wait a second, <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to make a furnace and start cooking some of this iron so I can mine that gold and get a full set of iron armor, which is our first challenge, challenge complete, um, thank you very much. Oh, now I sound like Elvis. This is a sad day. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a big listener to of music. I, I kind of keep up with pop culture, but not as much as most people do. I'm kind of like, oh, Justin Bieber, that, that kid that sings. Oh, yeah, uh, Katy Perry, that, that girl who sings. You know what I mean? I, I know who they are, but it's just kind of like... I don't, you know, buy their album and listen to it religiously for three days and then decide that it sucks. I'm, I don't know. Uh, there's definitely music I don't like. I'm not saying, uh, like, no offense to any country listeners, but for some reason, country, I just can't stand country. Uh, classical, I do enjoy classical as long as it's not really repetitive. 
like I'll uh, good piano playing I'll listen to it for hours which is kind of hard to find these days on the internet actually uh, YouTube videos are my main source of classical music but um another genre of music I'm not crazy about is like the really hardcore hip hop and I listen to some uh, hip hop but like the ones where they're just screaming and yelling and cussing and you know screaming constantly all these cuss words and you know and not not where it has a good beat it's like there's this random kind of thing and obviously I can't beatbox but um I guess that's pretty evident but uh you know I, I'm I'm not too crazy about that uh if it has a good beat and isn't you know too vulgar <clears throat> like you know about the highest vulgarity level I'll go is probably something like uh you know Snoop Dogg or Lil Wayne those kind of things so you know I mean not like clean rap but or hip hop or whatever you want to call it but you know not like vulgar real vulgar or anything and even some of their songs I are a little bit too far for me um, not that I'm like, oh, I'm offended, but I just don't enjoy listening to them. They, they don't make me happy so much as they just make me kind of annoyed and questioning my choice in music, you know? So anyway, so no offense to anyone who doesn't like my choice in music, but that's my personal choice. Uh, I have no problem with people who listen to country. I have a lot of friends who like country, but not to my thing. That's the one music genre that, um, if I had to choose one music genre to never hear again, that would be it. Um, and maybe it's because I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm kind of a nerdy person, and the people singing that are kind of old, uh, kind of redneck style people, and nothing wrong with that, but it's just kind of a clash of personality, I suppose, and I, I just don't really see their, their things important, and not to say, I've, I've heard about, I think, three good country songs, none of which I can remember the names of at the moment, surprisingly, but, uh, I think I've heard about three good country songs that I've actually liked, and at some point, um, not bought, but, you know, like, bookmark the YouTube video for it or something, but, uh, in general, no. So, if anyone was curious about, uh, my musical interest, which I, I doubt anyone was, but just throwing it out there, so, leave a comment with your music interest, no. Well, yeah, go ahead, actually, if you want, but I'm not gonna do one of those weird, like, please leave your comment below kind of thing. Uh, the things I want you guys to leave more comments on, and I'm totally cool with, like, leaving, like, responding to things in the commentary, but the things I'd actually, like, appreciate if you commented on, I guess, would, would be, like, if you have ideas or suggestions for improvements, you know, um, I know a lot of people don't really like constructive criticism, and with me, it kind of depends. If, if they're nice about it, like, saying, you know, hey, I noticed you did this, if you try to do this, if they're nice about it, I'll be happy to, you know, uh, hear them out, try it out, and see if it works, you know, um... You know, if they aren't mean about, you know, oh, you suck because of this. You know, if it's like, uh, oh, you know, try this, see if that works. That, totally cool with me. And so if you have any kind of constructive criticism, like, you know, hey, try doing this, or what if you did this, or or also with this series, I'm going to need um, a lot of user suggestions for, ooh, look at that. As if I didn't have enough cave to explore already, I found a whole nother line of cave, which is part of, part of the cave's same part of the cave same system part of the same cave system so anyway with completionist uh, if anyone has any ideas for challenges or, or whatever you want to call them to complete i awesome i <laughs> i don't really have too many ideas at this point i am going i have a list of about probably 10 ideas um basically full set of diamond armor large house farm not an automated farm but a farm that has basically everything that you can farm so that's watermelons, that's pumpkins, that's wheat, that's animals, uh, that's cacti, or cactus, uh, that's, um, trees, uh, that's, uh, I think I'm forgetting, I'm sure there's, oh yeah, like a nether war, just a, just an all-in-one inclusive farm, uh, you know, not automated though. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing much with redstone, sorry, I know there's some, uh, people who watch our YouTube channel or who are playing our Minecraft server, server.omicroncrew.com, in case you're wondering, uh, who really enjoy um, a redstone contraptions and whatnot, and I just, I'm sorry, but I do not, uh, I love other people's redstone contraptions, I love seeing what they do and reporting them and all that, but I am no good at building them, so if you ask me to do something redstone, you're going to be sorely disappointed, because one, I'm not going to need to do it, and two, if I did it, it would be the lamest redstone creation you've ever seen. It's like, how do I get this piston to move? Darn it, the piston won't- oh, I have to connect it. You know, it's just, I'm horrible at, at redstone anything, so. And sorry, I won't be doing any of that, but I will be doing things like, uh, 
uh, building type things. I'm not going to be doing like massive, massive, oh my god, huge build type things, but you know, like fun builds, like, you know, build, like the farm idea, which is, you know, a big build, but it's not like, you know, taking on the, building the Nile, you know, um, exact to every turn and curve, it, no, <laughs> I couldn't do that if I wanted, uh, with, with years of work, I'm just not artistically inclined like that at all, I'm not architecturally inclined, not artistically inclined, I'm, I'm pretty good with computer graphics, like, um, you know, I like logos and stuff, I can do that with some level of competency, but, you know, as you saw from the intro, it's nothing amazing, it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. oh, there's also a little bit of a lighting glitch for that creeper, that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, die! Oh, die! Oh, die! Oh, dang, why is he not dead? Die! Alright, there we go. I was starting to think that creep, the glitched out creeper had way too much health. Um, yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm who's boss. Who, who, who are you gonna call? Creeper Busters! Da -da 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 -da. Ah! Ow! Alright, well, what was I saying about me being the boss? <laughs> what was I saying about me having a total handle on the situation? <laughs> I don't remember ever saying that. I, I don't. Do you have that on the phone? Oh crap, you do. Um, <laughs> uh, who are you gonna call? Not me. Um, uh, that was interesting. Of course, I would. I would normally blame the keyboard, but you know what? Not my fault. Oh, I was. I was going on a chain of thought earlier about the uh, keyboard, about um, this keyboard and how you know I keep kind of hitting buttons I don't expect to hit. Because <clears throat> um, and I know I was about to mention this and I didn't. Remember earlier when I was saying if you're, uh, I might have mentioned this in a live stream or in another video, I'm not sure. Yeah, um, uh, and any of you who are frequent on the server may know this, I think I mentioned it on there several times. Um, but my uh, main gaming computer is motherboard, well my only gaming computer is motherboard, uh, fried. It, uh, I was installing a new GPU and I don't know exactly what happened, maybe a mix of static electricity. And I love that creeper lighting glitch. It, like. I don't know. It's kind of cool, actually. It's like one of the few glitches that I actually like. Um, what does that have to do with lighting? Uh, I'm gonna make myself an iron sword here, too. Um, uh, once I kind of light up this area. And this episode is coming to an end very soon, guys. Um, I'm just going a little bit longer than my usual, probably 25 minutes or so, because I spent so long talking we didn't get much gameplay in, so I'm going a little bit, uh, extra with some of this, uh, gameplay here. Putting in a little extra time. I um, might try some live streaming later tonight, if you want to hop on there, I will be live stream. well, actually, by the time this video is uploaded, the live stream will have already passed, never mind, don't listen to me, you probably missed it if you're watching this video, actually, I may not even live stream tonight, I may delay it, um, but I would like to live stream at some point, and hopefully at some point get James on there too, live streaming, uh, something, um, I think live streaming is a really cool medium, because it's really, um, it's more freestyle and more, you know, direct interaction with users, and I really like that, so I think I may be kind of, oh, I don't have any coal, but it's nearby, so it's not a big deal. Um, and, I, and I really kind of like that style of gameplay, you know, really interacting with the users on, you know, in chat and answering questions live and whatever, and, you know, I, I've done live streams a little bit before, and I've never gotten a real big turnout or anything, but, you know, there was one time where I, you know, like, I think, I want to say 20-something people on, you know, and it was, it was fun, it was, uh, you know, asking questions and we were talking, we were having a good time, it was a lot of fun, and so, I've, I've never had that many recently, uh, that was a while back, and I think that was actually on the Omicron Crew channel, but, um, uh, that was something totally different, and you'll notice there aren't any game noises, that is because, uh, actually you might have heard them, oh, my speakers were off, that's why, Alright, and that's why the music also didn't play, because I had the music off. I'm going to turn the music back off, though, because I do add music myself. And so sometimes I find a place where I'd want to put music, but I can't, because it would just not work, obviously, because, you know, there's already piano music there. Piano music's good and all, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't fit the mood. Big action scene, and it's, you know, playing out with soft piano. It's like, alright, yeah, that, that's, even I know that that's that's not quite optimal, and I'm not much of a music person, but, you know... So yeah, I, I kind of tend to turn the 
music often I remember for recording purposes. In game, I love listening to the in game music, but uh, for recording purposes, since I do have my own music at some parts, I don't want that to be the limiting factor. I want my limiting factor, and it usually is my own creativity level. <laughs> Instead of the fact that there's already music there that I can't edit out without getting rid of the game noises. Uh, at least not well. I mean, I know there's, you know, ways to do some really cool audio editing and, you know, remove voice from a track and everything, but I, I don't have that software. I don't intend on buying that software. I don't intend on owning that software. I don't... <laughs> you can see where this is going. So, uh, I don't think... Uh, the only reason I would smelt more of this iron right now would be to get XP. Smelting iron and gold... You notice when I mine gold ore and iron ore, I actually did not get XP orbs like I did from lapis lazuli, like I did from redstone, like I do from diamond, like I did from coal, uh, like I do from, uh, I think emerald ore gives that to you. I just heard something that didn't sound too good. Maybe that was my stomach. Or it could have been a skeleton. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm running. Because <laughs> um, this is hardcore, and even though I do have armor, uh, you can still die, so... Just kind of gonna run up here. The only reason I'm really mining this coal is, uh, or this iron is, aside from the fact that you know Minecraft, it's kind of um, no matter how much iron you have, I always feel compelled to mine iron. I don't know about you guys. When I see iron, it's like, ooh, iron's so valuable. Uh, huh? What? You already have a full set of iron armor, and you have too much iron to smelt. What are you talking about? But uh, uh, a big reason I'm getting this is because um, of the XP too. That, that that's a new added dimension for uh, <laughs> for uh, an incentive, you could call it, for mining ores, so. Uh, anyway, I'm going to mine out this vein of coal to get all the XP I can, and then I think I'm going to call it an episode. La-da-da-da-da. So yeah, please leave suggestions for... I just heard another creepy noise. Alright, I think it's in my house. Anyway. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> uh, it actually did sound like it was in my house. But anyway. Um... Yeah, uh, please leave any suggestions for anything, uh, one, games to play, two, things to do in Minecraft, or, and or, uh, three, any kind of thing you'd like to see. With I had a crafting table. Where did I put it? That's right. I probably left it behind. All right. I'll just build a new one. <laughs> uh, what was that? Oh, yeah. Pickaxe. Pickaxe, pickaxe, pickaxe. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, at least I didn't do torches, 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 which I was very close to doing earlier. Uh, or was I? I keep seeing, like, Phantom Diamond for a second, it, like, flashes. And it, it's just, like, seeing through the world for a second to that blue, but it, like, weirds me out, so. I know I said I was gonna end. I'm just gonna explore up here and see if there's anything interesting. And I'm going to get back to the surface. Die! Ah! Ow. Well, that didn't go as planned. Uh. Hi, spider. This isn't gonna go as planned either. Oh, I heard. Oh, look at that. Ha! Huh. Dodge that! I oh, dang it. Oh. Oh, what? Ow. Alright, there we go. <laughs> he hit me. <laughs> ah, there we go. Alright. Now for the skeleton. Now for the spider. Lighting glitch on the spider, too. Yeah, so there's not much of a reason, really, guys, to uh, kill mobs anymore for XP purposes, being that ore is just so much more efficient for getting XP. But, um, mobs certainly still do give great drops and everything, so... Still a reason to kill them, just not for XP anymore, really. They, of course, do drop XP, but it's just dwarfed by that uh, XP you can get from ores of any sort, really. Uh, especially if you're willing to smelt, you can get some good ones from iron and gold. Uh, I'm pretty sure, and don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure gold and iron ore give you the same XP when you smelt them. So, I wouldn't go crazy getting gold if you're just going for XP, because that's kind of... A little bit silly being that they give basically the same amount of uh, XP. I think. Don't quote me on that again. I, I don't know for sure, but it seems that way to me. Uh, I'm gonna place that. The reason I place the torch is one, for visibility so you guys can see what I'm doing. Two, because I, I do like good light levels so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, but three, the main reason is because even though I can see what I'm doing, I, I do like light. I like brightness. Uh, I think we're pretty close to the surface. Yep. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was an exciting build uh, up to the surface. So anyway, we are on the surface. Thank you for joining us and concluding up my thought. Um, yeah, the the you know get gold certainly for you know gold blocks and whatever gold tools if you want to be fast with mining or digging or whatever. But uh, don't get it for XP purposes. That's not what it's good for. 
I'm going to end on a full belly and a full heart. Full ten hearts. Minecraft characters must love a lot. They have life figured out. I say as it with the dramatic sunset in Minecraft. No. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for joining me. Sorry this episode turned out to be basically 40 minutes. And I will see you next time. Please leave your suggestions.